All right, so, um, yeah, th I mean, this build, I just kind of threw this together off my other build. Uh, it's just the same old grenade build. You really only need up to Vampire, and uh, they basically, they nerfed... Hold on, let me pull up the actual patch notes real quick, just so you guys understand what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see, okay, Borlands, do 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 hot fixes okay so Moe's they so what they did was just kind of smart they basically nerfed this class mod um, so the recharge delay is now 150 uh, percent meaning it's supposed to recharge like I like I don't under, I honestly don't fully understand what they're doing here like they didn't actually go after like what was making her super busted they tried to nerf her uh delay and recharge rate but really it doesn't make that big of a difference um and they reduced the re-trigger delay on means of destruction which when moe's delivers splash damage there's a chance to add ammo so like I don't understand. They basically revert. So like last week, people were saying, oh, there's like a noticeable drop in how many grenades I'm able to get back. You could still do the infinite grenade build, but you might have to like wait a little bit. And they were saying that it really hurt their ammo uh, capacity on their weapons. This change basically reverts that. So like, I'm not really sure what they were going for here. Um, I don't get it. They went and they also, what did they change? Bug close the distance on an action skill target. Where which one is that? Let's see. I mean, nobody uses Iron Bear on Moe's anyway, so I'm really curious why they would. Okay, so they they fixed a bug on close the distance, which basically makes it pull enemies. But nobody uses Iron Bear. Like, I don't understand if they're not looking at their own game or, like, what it is. But, like, nobody's running an Iron Bear punching build. As fun as that would be, there's zero need. And then the other change was they just changed the recharge rate. For some reason, they, I like, I don't understand. It heals shields manually. Like, they thought for, I feel like they thought like okay so this is i'm just gonna quote uh what they were i'm just gonna quote what they were saying in the patch notes uh let's see blood letter class mod is creating some overwhelming synergies for moes so we increased the delay and decreased the recharge rate of the shield to compensate this should help encourage the intended use of this class mod which is to heal shields auto manually not automatically so like this is like a buff like, I think that they thought that the previous iteration was allowing people to recharge their shields too quickly just standing around. But that's not, I mean, at least for me, that's not what anybody was using it for. They were using it, everyone's using it manually, which is throwing grenades and recharging shields. So it's like, they literally, they, it's like basically a buff. They essentially went, and because of the, if you'll remember last week, they went and, um... They went and uh, nerfed this. They essentially made it so that you would... What was the phrase? Um, they nerfed it so that there was like a cap on the amount of times that this interaction would actually occur per second. I think they dropped it down to two seconds. They made it like two seconds last week. So like you throw a grenade out and then like you could potentially get, you had a 6% chance to get a grenade back and 10% to get ammo chance back like every two seconds that would trigger. And it would trigger basically automatically, so not much was changed, but it was really noticeable in the ammo chance category, okay? But now they essentially reduced that even further. So instead of two seconds, it's 0.3. Basically, we're back to how it originally was. So this, honestly, I'm not sure... I. I don't know why that person commented and said that this build was dead as of the patch because it's like really the opposite. I mean, they just, they basically just buffed it. I mean, so the infinite grenade bug will be addressed in a future patch, but we want to enable other builds that use means of destruction. I don't understand. Like that doesn't, I mean, they're still going to keep coming at her with nerfs, which is kind of funny. 
but like the fact that like they keep trying to do this the one thing that i am noticing is that like elemental effects i don't know why i never really noticed them before but i feel like i they're covering my screen about eleven thousand times more often which is really irritating i don't know why it's happening but um, and if you're wondering none of the modifiers that are on right now for mayhem 3 this is mayhem 3 true vault hunter mode None of these modifiers uh, have any effect on grenades or elemental damage or anything like that. It's like 50% gun reduction and like increased cooldown on like action skills or some BS. <clears throat> but I mean, honestly, nothing has changed. I'm sorry if my voice sounds terrible. I'm still, uh, still sick. I just... <laughs> I was surprised when I saw someone comment on the Moe's build saying that it was killed today, and I'm like, I highly doubt that. Because the changes, I mean, maybe if you just looked at them and you didn't play Moe's before, like, maybe they're, maybe they look like nerfs, but anybody that's playing this build, I mean, are you guys noticing any reduced, you know, survivability right now? Or any changes in shield recharge delay? No. If anything, I'm seeing an improvement from previous from the previous hotfix, which is ridiculous. So they like essentially inadvertently buffed her for whatever reason, which I'm fine with. You can't stop Moe's, bro. Can't stop Moe's.